Well, here we are again, doing another Let's Play to buy us some time until we get Digi Level 2 Ep 4 finished. How is everyone? You all right? Good. Um, this week, this week, following the tremendous <laughs> success of last week's episode, I'm going to start all of that again. Why? Because I didn't like it. Oh, I liked it. You like that? Yeah. Oh, Sanya's here with me. All right, I won't start it again. Oh, hi, everyone. Hi, right, Sanya's here. The, the, there's a reason why Sanya's here with me again this week. By the way, for the record, Sanya doesn't really play games, doesn't really understand video games, doesn't really have a history with them, do you? Not really. Not. I play, I've played some games. Well, Alpaca Evolution. No, I, don't... I haven't played that for years, Paul. I, I've played a few games. I played a few games when I was young, girl. And um, yeah, because I'm, I'm I'm so young now. Um, and I've played a few games in recent name, years. I play maybe like one a year. Um, yeah, you like short, Animal a Crossing? A short hike. A short hike. You like Animal Love Crossing? Love Animal Crossing. Uh, what was that game with the voice and the man goes in the elevator? Oh, you love the Stanley Parable. The Stanley, yeah, that was so good. But you wouldn't self-identify as a gamer, would you? Oh, I mean, I would be mistaken to do that, I think. Yes. So, you know, don't don't be disparaging about her ignorance <laughs> <laughs> at any point. She's here to provide a counterpoint to myself, the gaming expert. <laughs> uh, no, there's a reason I asked Sonia. Um, partly because uh, the game we're going to be looking at on this it's not really a let's play because we don't we don't really play the whole game. We're not going to do that. We're just going to take a look at it, get a Let, sense. A let's of it. look. A let's have a let's have a little look. <laughs> game play thing. Um, it's a it, it's an Australian game. Oh, get out of here! Yeah, and also, and Sanya, for those that don't know, grew up in Australia. I did a long time ago. Yes. Uh, wasn't uh, we weren't born there, were you? I wasn't, and I've actually lived in the UK longer than I've lived anywhere else at this point. Yes. So, you know. Now, the reason I've chosen this game, aside from the fact that it is an Australian game, is that it's based upon your favourite book of all time. What? The Hobbit. <laughs> oh. Hey, spoiler, everyone. Sanya doesn't like The Hobbit. <laughs> uh, listen, I've watched half of the first film and when we were on a plane and I really enjoyed it. I can't remember why I stopped watching. Oh, I think... You didn't I watch think, the first got, Hobbit film. You watched the first Lord of the Rings film. Isn't it called The Hobbit? <laughs> this is, again, <laughs> this is why I've got Sanya, the expert. <laughs> what, the first Lord of the Rings film wasn't called The Hobbit? No, it was The what, Fellowship was of the Rings. Oh. The Hobbit is a different... It's it, it's Maybe a I watched, different story to Lord of the Rings. Maybe I watched... The Hobbit, then, not the first Lord I of the I find it hard film. to believe that you enjoyed the first Hobbit movie because I don't think anyone did. And there was a lot of walking in it. I mean, that, that, that's, that's pretty, probably true for that's all of pretty them. much, yeah, true for I'm showing, all of my, them. I'm showing my ignorance because I watched it's, They just walk around and then stop and look at a mountain and go, there is, there is hoop. <laughs> yeah, maybe it was that. I mean, I can't really remember which film it was. I was on a plane. I was like really sleepy. Um, well, the, then, the Hobbit is uh, was a kid's book. Was it? Yeah, The Hobbit was... A, you for real, what kid is going to want to read that? I tried reading it when I was about 14, right? Already out of, like, early childhood. Yeah. So you'd think a 14-year-old could handle it. I have never been able to get past the first two chapters. It's like the the beginning of the Bible. You know, you know, like, the second <laughs> book of the Bible where it's like, this guy's son and this guy's son was this guy's son was this... And it's just names... For about five yeah, pages. It's like Flob Begat, jo Joshua Begat, um, Flangey Begat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's something. It was like it was. It was like on that level of um, agony to try and get through. And so I never moved past the, the first two chapters. And maybe it gets better. You know. You know how we have a rule when we watch TV shows. We must always stick with the series. For at least three episodes. If we hate it past the third episode, we can quit. But at least stick with it for the first three episodes because a lot of stories have a slow beginning. Mm. And maybe I should have done that. Now now I need to like go back to my child self and 
tell her. Well, the thing is, you don't need to read the book now because we're going to play the game. Oh, cool. Um, Now, again, I knew Sanya's history with the Hobbit book and how she didn't get very far into it. I have the exact same history with the game. I played the game as a child, always got lost in the woods, got eaten by ogres, game over. (laughs) How, How were you with the book? I never even tried. You didn't even try and read it. Oh, I don't. I, look, I, I, I hesitate to say this because if there's one thing that's going to upset our audience more than politics, it it's poo pooing the Lord of the Rings. <laughs> 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 um, I love I love the scale of Lord of the Rings and the world building, but I've never been a big fantasy fan. I struggle with fantasy. The thing is, so, I like fantasy, so it's like I should like The Hobbit. My introduction to fantasy was Dungeons and Dragons, which, of course, I didn't realise was basically a rip-off of The Hobbit, but a role-playing game. Oh. Um, not The Hobbit and Lord of the Rings. I didn't realise that when I was playing it. Oh. Anyway, but but I just wanted to say, I don't, like, all-out dislike The Hobbit because I did really love the TV series that was on... On Amazon. Was it last year? So every time we've year mentioned before? this before on our videos, and people have gone, "Oh, you like that?" I did. I really liked I it. Did. I mean, I did fall yeah. asleep through a couple of episodes. <laughs> that's just that's just par for the course. I, you know, that happens all the time, and it's because the the music was so calming and relaxing, and the visuals just so beautiful. Um, <laughs> that wow. Sounds wrong, but that was a really good series. I, th- I I enjoyed it. I thought it was better than a lot of people gave it credit for. But did you people know. not like it? Oh, I don't really know why, because it just felt kind of like the films to me, and the films oh. were sort of generally universally loved. So I don't yeah, know. my favorite was people the um the guy that lived under the mountain. <laughs> was he? Is it? Was he a, a dwarf? Yes. Yeah, it's okay to say that. Then. <laughs> that I know you hesitated that. That's okay. Yeah, was he? Yes. Yeah, I thought he was really cool. That's okay. <laughs> wow. So you're suddenly worrying whether she's about to be cancelled. <laughs> can 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 you call them dragons? Is that okay? Is that, is that sexist? <laughs> Well, he's uh, a cool dude. He's a cool dude. So, before we carry on, um, if anyone um, would like to watch a video of us visiting the grave of the author oh, of The Hobbit goodness. and Lord of the Rings, we'll link to it in the description below. We treat it with the reverence and respect that you um, would, expect would imagine. From us. Would expect from us. Now, tell everyone what you call the author of these books. Listen, I don't know why you have an issue with it. There is nothing wrong with the way I say it. Now, everyone, and I'm asking you. And it is how my way. English teacher would pronounce his name. So Ev- take it up with right, her. Right. Before, Sanya, before Sanya reveals, everyone at home, I want you to do so. I want you to say out loud who the author of, of The Hobbit and Lord of the Rings is. Now, off you go. Okay, we'll say, say after, wait, three, wait. after three. So what? we can all do it at the same time. No, no, no. They're doing it first, and then I want you to do it. So. Oh, I want us to do it simultaneously. No, I don't so want talk- that. They won't so hear you. If they're saying it out loud, they won't hear you. If they, uh, Yes, good. Shush. No, they're doing it. Say it now. Sanya, now your turn. J-double-R Tolkien. <laughs> Why is that funny? Why is that funny? <laughs> Do you know I'm not the only person that says it like that? <laughs> what other idiots do too, as well. My English teacher taught us to say it. Your like English that. teacher was a, was a buffoon. No, she wasn't. She was. She was a, a buffoon. Lady. It's J R R Tolkien. Everyone calls him that, apart from clearly Australians or at least your class. <sighs> <sighs> right, on with the game because people are shouting at the screen, going, "What is this?" Yeah. What is this? I came here for a fun let's play. Well, you don't get that with us. You you have to suffer. <laughs> you have to <laughs> suffer first through this interminable waffle. Right. So, oh, wow. Okay, I was not expecting this. Wait a this. minute. They can't see this yet. I haven't put it oh. on the screen. Well, I probably have now, thanks to your... your oh, that's the... Yeah, you're looking at the manual. Right, that's, that's the manual. So this manual goes with the game. Yes. You have to read this first. Yes. Uh, okay. Let me... Well, let me read out some facts. Wait, can I just ask you one thing? No. Do you have to have read the book to play the game? No, because... I, well, I never did, but then I never got very far in the game. Ah, uh, so I'd be interesting... I'd be interested to know if people who'd read the book found that they got further in the game. 
If that was you, comment below. Yeah, okay. Uh, so it was released in 1982. Um, it was developed by Beam Software, which was basically set up to uh, make games for Melbourne House. Now, Melbourne House, what city were they established in, Sonia? Hmm, I wonder. Go on. Melbourne. Incorrect. It was actually. <laughs> was it, <not? laughs> yeah. it was was. This is what everyone is wrong about. When I did a video about Melbourne House years ago or mentioned it, it all went. Mm-hmm. Actually, actually, I think you'll find Melbourne House was set up in London in 1977. However, by Australians. The best year. Uh, yes, and he was born then, and Star Wars came out. That's yeah. the main thing. Okay. Um, uh, they, but they did have their HQ in Melbourne. Okay. Um, so Beam Software um, was founded to create books and software for Melman House. Um, the original version of The Hobbit, because it eventually came out on every format because it was such a huge hit, it sold like a million copies, originally came out on the Spectrum, it was developed by um, Philip Mitchell, not the one from EastEnders, <laughs> dogging, um, and uh, v- Veronica Megler, who is is kind of generally credited with the creation of the Hobbit, sounds she, like a super villain name, Veronica Megler. Megler. Well, she does work for Amazon now. <laughs> so, uh, well, this the, the the guy that did the graphics also sounds like a, a superhero, Kent Rees. He sounds like a, a hero. Yeah, uh, Kent Rees. Oh, she sounds like a super villain. He sounds like a superhero. Yeah, well, uh, uh, superheroes alter ego. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Um. So. Uh, Megla basically was a student. She was like 20. She was at university and she responded to an ad on the uni notice board looking for programmers paying £10 a day. And she applied and uh, she wasn't a big gamer. She played one game before, which was Colossal Cave Adventure. Some of you may be familiar with that. Um, She went to Melbourne House and they said, we'd like you to create the best text adventure game ever. Oh, my God. And she was like, all right. (laughs) Um, Wow. So there's, there's hope for us... Uh, inexperienced gamers yet so uh it was originally just a generic fantasy game obviously inspired by lord of the rings until they suggested why don't we turn this into a hobbit game oh um their follow-up game uh which came out the same year uh, was called penetrator Mm. Uh. (laughs) (laughs) Um, (laughs) we'll just leave that hanging there we'll leave that hanging there uh, she never did anything else so Veronica Megler and named games. Oh, really? That's it. So That's she it, just moved over to... What did she do for Amazon? It's programming, machine learning systems or something, whatever that is. Cool. I don't know. Right, so in the manual, it says, congratulations, you're about to play the most sophisticated game program yet des- devised for any, any microcomputer. Cool. Uh, I'm not going to read the rest of that, but... Um, that is tiny writing. It just says, if you're unfamiliar with hobbits, you should know that hobbits are little people about half our height and smaller than the bearded dwarves. Hobbits have no beards. <laughs> well, I don't know. I don't know about that. <laughs> Frodo. Um, it doesn't matter. Sandy's so a bit confused. Um, blah, blah, blah. You need all your cunning and skill to survive. Sanya, have you ever played a text adventure game? Um, I think think so yes as a kid really yeah so is the magic school bus a text <laughs> <laughs> really I really what happened here, but i love that <laughs> i'll be honest i'm not massively familiar with the game version of the magic school bus but <laughs> oh my dad brought it home i remember and it was um because he'd get stuff like that for free from for his work. And I just remember loving playing it. Okay. <laughs> Great review. <laughs> me, what happened in it? Dunno. Well, let me tell you what you've got to do in this game. Your mission is to seek out the evil dragon and return the treasure he hoards back to your home and place it for safekeeping in the chest. Okay. Seek dragon, get treasure, place in chest. As a secondary mission, you must look out mission. As a secondary mission, you must look after Thorin. And protect him. Should he be killed during the adventure, it is most unlikely you will be able to survive the dangers ahead of you on your journey. Best of luck, Bilbo. So it says you need to protect Thorin, but if he's killed, then you'll be safe. Is that what it says? No, that's literally the opposite. Opposite. That's the opposite of what he said. I'm glad you were paying attention. All right. Why Sandy doesn't play games. So, um... 
the 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 instructions seem unnecessarily um unnecessarily and these are like board game instructions yeah. uh, i like most youths many youths well i uh never read the instructions i just jumped in i like i like text adventures they were my thing but um i did find them frustrating what That's did you find frustrating about them you're gonna find out in a minute when we play the whole bit <laughs> um so this just tells you it had like a very uh complicated parser as they call it which is the it's it, it's text interface, a very right. kind of advanced for the time. Okay. Um, so it just tells you blah, blah, blah. blah. Uh, it, we, can, we can refer back to these if we need to, but um, you can talk to animals. Talk to the animals. What Animaction that? is here. What's Animaction? Uh, uh, Amazing yeah. as it sounds. Oh, All the other characters it. you will meet in The Hobbit have an independent character of their own. Basically, they do their That's own so thing. That's cool. That was, that was a big part of it but we'll see we'll see so oh okay wow wait, i wasn't wait, expecting wait. it to look like this really what were you expecting well, I was expecting like? more greens and browns and kind of like na nature colors and more okay, this is shapes. it's on the zx spectrum sanya in 1982 they were if you wanted they browns have, they've got like hot pink can they not do a brown no you couldn't get oh. brown if you wanted brown you had to buy a commodore 64 Right. You know, sorry that it how, doesn't... How can it do hot pink then? And it, it, they're, I don't know, CMYK colours. They're just the colours it had. Okay. You know, All you right. don't have a go at the Spectrum okay. because it can't do brown. We were proud sorry. that it couldn't do brown. Sorry, Spectrum. Right. So. You are in a comfortable tunnel-like hall. Yeah, she needs a hyphen, doesn't it, really? Tunnel-like. Oh, I think oh, I might. Oh. Um, so, what... It's wobbling, hang on. Oh, that's fine. Let it wobble. Right. <laughs> Uh, right, what would you like me to do? Well, you've only got a choice to look. You've got no other choice. Why is it not working? There. So do you, you type it in or you... Oh, oh whoa. Again. Yeah, uh... So, to the east, there is the round green door. You see the wooden chest. Gandalf. Gandalf is carrying a curious map. Thorin. Oh, Thorin's a map! No, Sanya. I believe Thorin's a dwarf. Okay. Or well, li or why li or it, little person. It needs to explain that. Gandalf gives. But the explain it in the instructions. Time passes. Right, Gandalf's opened the door. Right. What are you typing? I'm not typing anything. Oh. It's doing its own thing. You so it says, me. look, wait, You tell me plus. what to do. What's the plus for? That's, that's where I type. Oh, okay. Uh, so I have to tell you what. So Gandalf opens the round green door. You can either look or wait. Let's wait. Right, you Gandalf's wait. buggered off. Oh. Let's wait again. Oh, now look. <laughs> Where? You wait. Nothing's going to happen. <laughs> Let's wait. Just wait one more this time. This is bad content. Wait one more time. Okay. Right. Look then. Just go tell us what we've already seen. You are in a comfortable town in Lake Hall. Oh, well, then what was the other option? You've got to type it in. Tell it what to do. These oh, aren't... so can you write, like, go through the hall? Sorry, everyone, if this is mad at ink. Can you write go through the hall you want me to type go through the hall walk through the hall okay. thorin waits you say, oh can i open the chest wait a minute I, i've typed in what you wanted me oh, to no, walk. i do not know walk all okay. right open the wooden chest you open the wooden so, chest. okay now thorin's getting annoyed hurry up why can't i open the chest you have you've opened op Open. Okay, um, leave. I, I'm going to help you out here. Open chest. Right, the chest is open. Oh. No. Uh, look in chest. Oh, I'd like to look at your chest. No, cut that out, please. There's, no, it's in there now. <laughs> wow. This is the sort of uh, objectification <laughs> I'm subjected to. Uh, I, I do not know the verb. Look. look it. Oh, look in. Look chest. Oh, my God. I don't know what's going to happen. Oh, now look. Well, it says it doesn't understand look in. Yeah, it's just going to say, if you type look, it's just going to tell you where you are again. Oh. Yes, it's maddening. Do you want me to give you a little hint? Yes, please. Why don't we go through the door? Go through which door. Which is, where is, to the east. Is the... So, which direction do you want us to go in? East. I'm going to just please. type E for, for the, because everyone at home watching this is screaming at the computer. Sorry, right? everyone. Right. Ooh, beautiful. No, I'm sorry there's no brown. 
No, it's it's fine. It, yellow and green is good enough. Right, we have to wait for. I like the colouring in. All right, so we press. Right, here we are. All right, you're in a gloomy, empty land with dreary hills ahead. To the west, there is the round green door. Visible exits are east, north, northeast. You see nothing. <laughs> Thorin enters. What would you like to do, Sonia? I do not know the verb block. Oh, um, go northeast. Right, so you do an abbreviation, N-E. Oh, check that out. Okay. Oh, that's impressive. Is it? Yeah. Right, so a hidden path with a troll's footprints. Oh, that's scary. There's the footprints. Are trolls good or bad in this story? I think trolls are generally bad, aren't they? So, you are in a hidden path with trolls' footprints. To the north, there is a heavy rock door. Visible exits are south. You see Gandalf. Gandalf's Gandalf goes south. Thorin enters. So is Gandalf far away in the distance? I don't. Why, what a weird question to ask. He's like, just can I talk south. to Gandalf? No, he's or do gone I just south. Say, go south. Okay, go south. No, we. Oh no. Well, don't you want to investigate the heavy rock door at least? Investigate heavy rock. Okay, door. you can't type that in, but it's to the north. So I'm going to see if we can go through it. You cannot go north. Open door. The door is locked. Okay, so oh, we need to find a key. Yes, we do. Let's go south. Right, oh, we're in the troll's clearing. To northeast. Okay, it wasn't an option there. Yeah. Oh, wasn't it? You are in the troll's clearing. Visible exits are south. Ah, oh, we need to kill the troll. West, south, east, north. You see Gandalf. So we can still see Gandalf. Well, we can because we followed him. <laughs> the hideous troll. The troll is carrying. Oh, the large key. We want that. The vicious troll. Huh? Gandalf goes southeast. Thorin enters. The hideous troll says, <laughs> Blimey. Look, looks at this. Can you cook him? The vicious troll says, you can try, but he wouldn't make above a mouthful. How do you kill a troll? Oh, wait, there's more. The hideous troll eats you. Oh, then you're dead. <laughs> this foul gluttony has killed the hideous troll. You are dead. You have mastered 2.5%. <laughs> What? We took too long. You spent so long with your theatrical reading of it. Well, it doesn't give you time to read. Read quickly. Okay. Man. Oh. What if it, so, uh... Right. Off you go. You know what to do. East? Yeah. Right. Blah, blah, blah. Right. Take... Uh, take map. Let's try that. So Gandalf's there with us. I'm already oh, he's giving me the map. Okay. Oh, okay. Right, I'm going east. Go east. You cannot right, go east. I don't know. Which way, way was it? Open chest, wasn't it? You cannot no. go east. Look, why not? You're in a comfortable tunnel like, oh, oh. God. O was it open chest? Well, there's nothing in the chest. The chest is where you've uh, got to put the treasure when you get back. Go north. Right, to the east there is open door. Open door. East, right, okay. Right, here we are again. Okay, lovely. In the gloomy, empty land with dreary hills That would make ahead. a nice postcard, wouldn't it? Would it? Mm. Mm, let's hope the postcard didn't take as long to load as each of these bloody screens did. <laughs> God, right. See, it says <sighs> east, northeast. I... Yeah, we weren't there. We were in the... Where would you like to go this time? Northeast. That's where we went last time. Okay, right. So here we are again with the Trolls Footprints. Okay. Yes, we went northeast last time. Oh, did we? But when we were elsewhere, when we'd moved on, there wasn't a northeast to go. Right, got it. Right. Okay, well, so we want the exits key. are south, and to north is the, the heavy rock door. So you want to go south again? Well, yeah, because that troll had the key, didn't it? Yes, yeah, so I'm going to go south. All right. I'm going to try south. something. All right, yes, do it. I trust you. Well, I don't know, because I never got much further can than you, being killed by the trolls. Can you write kill troll? I'm going to try. You want me to try that? Yes, please. Unless well, you I have a better hobbit. idea. Well, I could try stealing the key. Steal key, yeah. Ah, kill oh, troll. Kill troll. But then there are two trolls, so the other one might kill us. I think that's going to happen. We... You attack the hideous <laughs> troll, but the effort is wasted. His defense is too strong. The hideous troll attacks you. With one well-placed blow, the hideous troll cleaves your skull. You are dead. Oh. It's a lot more violent than the book, I imagine. The children's you book. You imagine? I imagine. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we should try reading the book. No, I've got better things to do in my life. 
and read books. I'd like to watch, I'd <laughs> read like, all books. I'd like to watch right, the film. I think in honour of this, playing this game, yeah, maybe we could watch the films. Right, I'm going east. Weekend. Right, my advice is we don't go anywhere near the trolls for now. Let's stay away from the trolls. Okay, because we need a sword or something at least to attack the trolls, don't we? That's an excellent plan. Right, yes. I just suggest we stay away from the trolls. We're a little... Remember, we're tiny people. Yeah, we, we need weapons. Okay, I'm going to suggest we don't go northeast this time. No. I'm going to say we either continue east or go north. What do you uh, think? I think let's go east because north is too close to northeast. Okay. Right, okay. Oh, not again. <laughs> can... What on earth? Did you just say... Did you just swear? No. Uh, what did you think I said? The F word. No, no, I did. Right, say shall that. we get the hell out of here? Uh, Let's go. Look quickly. Escape. Southwest, southwest. You can't no. Oh, southwest. <laughs> southwest. The opposite. You can't type escape. <laughs> oh, we're in Rivendell. Oh, Rivendell. Oh. East, west. You see Elrond. Thorin enters. Elrond says hello. Oh. You've seen Elrond in real life. Which one's Elrond? <laughs> Who's the bloke out of the Matrix? Oh, I know. Yes, I was crossing the road and oh, he was crossing the road in the opposite direction. And what stood out to me was he is so tall. Um, what eat. would you like me to do? <laughs> Elrond, uh, you eat some lunch. Have a drink. Uh. <laughs> Remove Elrond. <laughs> <laughs> I suggest we keep going east. If okay. we go west, we're back the way yeah. we came. Yeah, go east. Uh, you go east, you're on a hard, dangerous path in the misty mountains. Visible exits are east, north, west, south. You see nothing. Thorin enters. Why does Thorin enter every time? <laughs> I'm sure that's what Bilbo would like to know. <laughs> You're in a narrow place. Dildo Baggins. <laughs> Dildo you're in D a, Baggins. You're in... What does D stand for? You're in a narrow place. No, D, D Bagging. It means move trousers. Oh. I mean, I'm glad, glad you made me explain it. But. <laughs> <laughs> you're in a narrow place with a dreadful drop into a dim valley. Visible exits are... Oh, okay, you see nothing. I'm going to talk to Thorin, see what he says. You talk to Thorin. Okay, great. What does? Uh, can you ask it questions? Can you say what does Thorin say? No. Oh. Uh, okay. Um, go, so I'm where are we? Narrow place. Walk you through. See. No, you don't type. Walk through. Look at the exits. Oh, okay. Um, you don't. East. Let's keep walk. going east. Okay, that's a great idea. You go east. You're on a narrow, dangerous path. Visible. Uh, nothing. This is the wrong. Doesn't matter that you it? see nothing. We look. I suggest we keep going east. East, okay. Right, we're now in Bjorn's house. Heavy curtains. Bjorn again. <laughs> <laughs> Open curtains. You see a heavy curtain? Open. Oh, now look. Can't type. Behind there. Oh, open cupboard. Yeah. You open oh, it. take food. Some food. Th Shut up, Thorin. Thorin's impatient. Why haven't we got a picture of Bjorn's house? Right, so this is this doesn't make sense Impatient. because we came east to get here, but there's not an exit west. I mean, also, northeast, northwest, south, southwest, north. How many doors has Bjorn got in his house? Where does he, he live in? He Maybe he lives in a roundhouse with lots of doors on each side. Angle. Yes, that's the question I was asking. <laughs> it's like um, an insane house with like ex Shut up, Thorin! Right. <laughs> Calm down, he's okay. he's just he's in a hurry. <laughs> shut up. He doesn't know the word shut. Right, where do you want to go? Northeast, northwest, south, southwest. North. Let's go south. Nothing. Forest Road. Well that's okay though. Okay, keep going south. Well I can't because for some bizarre reason there isn't a it's east or north. <sighs> Well, we've just gone south, so there's no point going north. Go east. Well done. Your logic is good. Oh, no. Hey, bulbous I'm eyes I'm getting out of I'm going east. There's, okay, yeah. What could be pale bulbous eyes? I don't know, but I'm not sticking around. The wood elf. Oh. Something drops. Oh, great. You see some pale bulbous eyes staring at you. Something drops from above and stings. Oh, you're dead. You're dead. Do you, do you, do you see why this is a frustrating game? Yeah, and also I, I don't... killed. I didn't do anything wrong. It's just 
something just stung, stung me out of nowhere. Is this game true to the book? Is this how the book began? What, what, a man what, in a with, room with a chest. With Bilbo repeatedly dying at the no, start. I'm just thinking if someone who's read the book, would they know automatically to like keep going northeast or northwest? No, I, I don't. Maybe we, does the, does the um, instruction manual have a map? I don't think so. Uh, I mean, I, no, no, it doesn't. I mean, there's obviously, you know, hints. I mean, there's hints. Look at this. Uh, movements. The best hints you can get come from the book The Hobbit. Uh, this adventure follows extremely closely the plot of the book and you should find yourself stuck. The best solution is to carefully reread the book. I don't believe that. We need there to was, read the book no, or there, watch the film. There was bugger all to tell me that I was about to be stung by the thing with the pale bulbous eyes. Unless that's Ga uh, um, Gollum. The pale bulbous eyes could be Gollum. So in that case, then the thing dropping me, dropping from above and stinging me but, just came out of nowhere. That's not fair. Wait, does Gollum sting people? No. No, Gollum's just they following. Maybe. Oh, it's not Gollum that it's not the thing with Gollum the pale bulbous Gollum bulbous eyes that people. stings you. Oh. What? <sighs> so there you go. We that, need look, to read the book. It's not gonna help. We'll watch the film. Trust me, it's not gonna help. It is not going to help. If you're listening to this and watching this, how far did you get into this game? And yeah, you'd read no, the book here's the help. question. How far did you get into this game without looking up like a walkthrough or hints or tips? How far without? Did they doing have walkthroughs back then? There was in magazines. There wasn't in a magazines. YouTube. They even published. There was even a book published in 1984 about how to play this game with tips on it. Really? Yeah. Is that? Does that kind of take away the joy of guessing it yourself? Yes, I would have thought so. But also, it sort of speaks to how utterly frustrating this experience was uh, I'm not playing anymore um, fine we got 7.5% through the I, adventure that's that's. I would say an, that's a win that's quite, that's quite <laughs> an achievement I would say that's a win uh, what I will say as well they um, the idea was the, the, the game engine for this was um, the idea was that it could be used for other games so they would just sort of swap out locations and items and things for other things. So they did the follow-up game to this was a Sherlock Holmes game. Oh, cool. And then, and then never used it for any other. So, wait, it was the same story but with different items? No, obviously it wasn't the same story. So, okay, Sherlock Holmes, you were in a comfortable tunnel-like hole. <laughs> yeah, there's Sherlock a Holmes has been, like, stung from above. <laughs> <laughs> you never no, know. Story, you never know. But, you know, they just... They just allowed them to sort of relatively easily you know change the setting and characters and blah 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 so i'm assuming it had uh, dr watson wandering around coming in and out going hurry up you know dr watson sits down and sings about gold which i'm disappointed about because that we didn't get that in this oh, did uh, you have that the first time yeah, you played it normally it's the whole thing so and so comes in and starts singing about gold how Sorry. how much further did you get into the game than no this? no further than that it was too frustrating well you only got seven seven point five i don't remember exactly it came adventure. out in 1982 sanyo i don't remember what percentage i got i just know <laughs> that i found the entire thing maddeningly frustrating partly because the graphics took so long to load every time that you know it 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 was slow going and I, I you know being a cheeky adhd boy i didn't have the time for that <laughs> yeah. it was much, it was it was much more fun to like just set fire to things and throw them around in the garden <laughs> uh so that was it that was the Aww. hobbit we okay. told you we're not going to do full playthroughs of games on this <laughs> and, uh but well, medals to anyone who manages to get further than 7.5 percent yeah yeah because uh, I'm certainly never, ever going to unless we decide to look up a tutorial or a complete that, that solution. That would be interesting. Just follow the tutorial. If anyone would like that, I may do that. That's it. I mean, it takes it takes away the element of surprise, I suppose, but... It completely defeats at the least object. we At least we get the story. But this is the thing. A lot of those games back then, there was no save, so it was trial and error. You know, you'd get a bit further, die, go back, try something Oh, you have else, to go back die. to the beginning every single time? Every If you die, yes. No you can't, way. Can't there restart. aren't levels that you... No, no. Oh. You don't get... You don't. There's no continues in this game. Oh, I bet that's frustrating then. Yes. Especially when you consider... Like, imagine you get to 90%. 
Yes. And then have to go all the way back to the beginning. Yes. And you have to try and remember what you chose well, each I, I, time. I suppose the more sort of analytical and anal players would write down their path and maybe make notes. That would be a oh. sensible thing to do, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah, I'd never do that. <laughs> No, that's way too logical <laughs> for the likes of us. Effort. Yeah. Anyway, right, everyone, um, yeah, keep watching. Uh, if you want to see some more videos of us in the meantime, we got an absolute, I believe the uh, phrase is shit ton of videos over on our other channels, so go check them out. Um, and you can support us on Patreon as well in the meantime for exclusive shiz. Uh, and DigiDevil2 will be back imminently. How fun. How fun. Uh, goodbye, everyone. Bye-bye, everyone.